here in West Hollywood, right in front of Whiskey A Go Go, and I've just seen Rock of Ages. It was awesome. We got the chance to sit down with Catherine Zeta Jones. Now, she's got a very choreographed scene in this movie where she's getting down in the church. Check out these exclusive interviews with Black Tree TV. This man, this man is responsible for so much filth. He's like a machine that spews out three things. Sex, oh. hateful music, oh, yes. and sex. Yes. Well, his filthy little hateful music sex ride is over. It's gotta stop. Yes. And we're the ones who are gonna do it. Yes. Oh, you're a real tough cookie with a long history of breaking little hearts. Like the one of me. That's okay. Let's see how you do it. Put up your dukes. Let's get down to it. Hit me with your best shot. Why don't you hit me with your best shot? Hit me with your best shot. Fire away. Well, I'm here with. With a great actress, Academy Award member, Miss Catherine Zeta Jones. And this was a fun movie. It looked like it was fun to even like oh, act in. You know, I know it's work for you guys, but it looked like it was fun to yeah. to just be a part of. How 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 was the choreography and stuff for you? I know it's not your first musical. Well it's intense, huh? To do a musical on film is intense because unlike doing it on stage where you have beginning, middle and an end and you get you get people applauding in between, you know. Mm -hmm. This is like a long process of different angles, different camera lenses, you know, keep going over and over and over. You don't get any applause. Well, the crew clap the first time and then they forget it, you know. Mm -hmm. um, so it's a, it's a longer process, but I'm telling you, it is so rewarding and so much fun. And when I sit in the cinema and I see the movie, I go, I hope everyone in the audience is having just as much fun as we had making it. Right. And I think they are. You know, I look around and they are. Um, and my role was so much fun. When Adam said, I'm writing something in and you're playing a villain who wants to abolish you know, rock and roll and you get to sing Hit Me With Your Big Shot, Best Shot, and then you get to sing a duet with Russell Brand. It's just like, sign me up. Yeah. With this cast, are you kidding me? Yeah. I'm coming, I want to be in that gang. I'm coming to join you guys. What time, what time do I show up? Really, really, because like with a lot of musicals, I mean, musicals are always fun, but this music kind of means a different thing to a lot of people, you know? Mm. And so so I, it makes me ask you, like, if we take it back to the 80s, like, what was your rock experience for this, for, the, for that time period? Were you one of the, were you a rocker? Or? I know. I, I was working in the 80s, and I, but I had big hair. I had the whole, you know, I have photographs to show how bad I looked. <laughs> um, I was into, like, the British New, new Romantics, you know, uh, Spandau Ballet, Duran Duran, you know, makeup on guys is always great. Um, <laughs> and it took me a while from in Wales and London to get this real specific L.A. Sunset Strip, 80s, big sound, big guitar, big head, big speakers, you know, big shoulder pads for the women. And and eventually it came, but it was, it, it, it's, uh, it was a real special time here, right here at where we are today on Sunset Strip. So you're, you're part My of biggest rock and roll mo uh, moment for me, though, came out later when I was at the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame and uh, Bono from U2 serenaded me. Wow. That was me going, <laughs> this is rock and roll. <laughs> and I am in the middle of it. This wow. is too cool. I'll never forget that. Now, you've been a part of Chicago, and I know that you made your Broadway debut with a, a little night music with Angela Lansbury. How how does Rock of Ages compare when you just put musicals like what do you what do you think Rock of Ages is gonna stand? It's, in Rock of Ages for me after doing Chicago and doing Broadway, Rock of Ages has brought out me it brought out in me that we all have it that inner rock star that yeah. we do with a hairbrush in front of the mirror, imagining millions and millions of massive adored fans screaming your name, singing your lyrics, playing your music over and over again. It unleashed that for me. When I was in that church singing, hit me with your best shot, I was a rocker. You were. <laughs> I was Everybody's rocking gonna, it. Everybody's going to love it because you really rocked it. Thank you. We're going to keep on rocking with you no matter what you do. So just keep on doing your thing. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for your time.